friends today we start to know about population inversion before knowing about the population inversion let us know about the principle of laser actions the principle of laser actions is based on stimulated emission of radiation you can observe here you can observe here that when the uh, energy is incitating on an electron that is in higher energy state the the higher the electron from higher energy state is deexcited to the lower energy state by the emission of two photons one is from stimulated photon and another is emitted photon when we have the two stimulated photons then we have the four outcome photons and this is now that is what the lazarus principle and now come to know about the population inversion the number of photons present in particular energy level is given by the relation ni is equal to n0 into e power minus i by kbt at kbt is nothing but boltzmann constant that is equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joules per kelvin where t is absolute temperature of energy state but so if n0 equal to ni into e power minus i into kbt then n0 equal to ni into e power minus i by kbt that implies n1 equal to sorry ni n0 sorry for the mistake n1 equal to n0 into e power minus e1 by kbt n2 equal to n0 into e power minus e2 by kbt then n1 by n2 equal to n0 e power minus e1 by kbt by n0 into e power minus e2 by kbt n0 n0 get cancel e power e2 get e2 minus e1 by kbt but we know that h mu is equal to e2 minus e1 that is equal to delta e so keeping this in here we can come n1 by n2 equal to e2 h mu by kbt so that's the result what i write here, what i wrote here and but h mu kbt are all positive values e power something positive is nothing but greater than 1 so n1 by n2 is greater than 1 but n1 so that implies n1 is greater than n2 but for lasting action takes place it is necessary that stimulated emission predominates over spontaneous emission it is possible only n2 is greater than 1 so if the number of if the number of atoms is more in higher energy level than the number of atoms in the lower energy level then the condition is nothing but the population inversion or inverted population here we came to, here we i want to introduce the new term known as meta stable state it is lower energy state and higher energy state in higher energy state electron will last for 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds but in meta stable state that can, that time uh, uh, increase to 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds here the we can i can show the graphical representation of boltzmann distribution and population inversion between e energy level e2 and e1 so for boltzmann distribution curve will be like this for for population inversion the graph will be like this the electron will last in more in the meta stable state rather than in higher energy state not uh, lower energy state so this condition is nothing but the population inversion friends thank you